after Hilda Bassi broke the world record for the longest cooking, I mean the cookathon that Hilda Bassi had in May 2023, the food industry had known no rest. Not just the food industry, but every other creative sphere in Nigeria and the world at large have known no rest because everyone is attempting to break one record or another. Which record are you breaking in 2024? I'm going to be going through the plethora of cookathons that happened in 2023. And of course, this 2024, be expecting more because people are raving mad in this country. And I don't know about other countries, but I feel like Nigerians are going overboard in order to make things happen. The first person to actually get the world record for the longest cooking was Chef Lotta from India after which Hilda attempted five years after. Guys, five years after. Chef Lotta had her record in 2019, and then Hilda waited for five good years. According to Hilda, she prepared. She did a lot of preparations, both physical, emotional, mental, and a lot of preparations, including financial preparations to cover the cost of the whole event. She had that preparation for five years. She was in the in pre, she was preparing for five years. And then in 2023 May, she hit the ball rolling by announcing the fact that she wanted to attempt to break the world record for the longest cooking, which of course, by the grace of God, she succeeded and broke the record. She became the record holder for the world longest cooking. After Hilda Bassi, you know, we reached three weeks, three weeks, June. The next month, Chef Dami from Ekiti also attempted to break Hilda's record. But guys, that one did not see the light of the day because Guinness World Record did not recognize Chef Dami. Stating facts like she did not submit her, you know, attempt letter and all that. And of course, there were so many irregularities in the attempt. So it was more like cancelled. We were not done with that. Like I said, the food industry have known no rest ever since then rise of so many chefs and their cookathon stories remember chef dami got lots of criticisms from nigeria stating that she not even allow hilda drink water drop cup before she started her own cookathon like she didn't prepare so well it was it was a mess a lot of you know criticism i'm sure that girl's self-esteem has been damaged but god willing she's going to come back then another chef came to the limelight chef dio also attempted in july of same 2023 guys are you listening to what i'm saying at all these chefs are just rising one month interval one month interval after hilda chef dami after chef dami chef leo came on board and wanted to break hilda's record for how many hours 150 hours and guys as i'm talking to you right now i don't even know where chef leo is because nobody heard the complete story whether she completed the cookathon or not me i don't know another chef came this one this time around not from nigeria but kenya chef malia Mohammed started her own cookathon in november three months after we had hilda dami and Liu, and she wanted to also break the world record for the longest cooking but guess what guys she only cooked for 100 hours and that was the end of chef malia one or don't know chef alan fisher also came a male chef from ireland who also attempted the world record for the longest cooking. But this time around, he succeeded because he broke Hilda's record. And up until now, as we speak, he is the world record holder for the longest cooking. The first male to actually make that attempt. Broke it and now is holding the record. He attempted for 119 hours and he succeeded. Oh, I'm actually clapping for Chef Alan Fisher. He tried, guys. He did it. Okay, so we're not done no, because after Chef Alan Fisher also attempted and broke Hilda's record, another chef came again. Hmm. And this time around, we're back to Nigeria. Chef Tokwe. Chef Tokwe Maggi is an oil based chef who also attempted to break the record for the world longest cook, longest cooking another cookathon guys <laughs> an attempt for 200 hours in december that's where we are now nobody knows the end of that story i thought this whole cookathon and chef things is going to end in 2023 2024 january 1st another chef attempted to break the world um you know the world record for the longest cooking i'm talking about chef Elatu from ghana hmm she's the one on board right now the one the one on board but her record has not been confirmed yet even though she broke all the records 
of every other person cooking for 227 hours he easy he no easy if he easy run now chef Ailatu is the current chef and the one that is boiling right now my concern is not about all of this chef but my concern is the rise of chefs afterwards <laughs> hey guys you need to see what is going on online if you don't know how to cook by this time i don't know what to tell you because we have so many chefs even more than the churches the mocks the schools and every other institution that we have in nigeria if you don't know if you think i'm joking go online and see just open instagram the first thing you're going to see is someone cooking something someone mixing something or someone doing something so i must say that nigerians are a lot nigerians do the most when it comes to challenges competitions and attempts now recently the one i just heard or the one i saw that is actually you know just triggering me to actually say something is the standard thorn. i know we have we have had lots of athons and thorns and thorns and thorns after he was attempt we have people who wanted to do washathons we have those who wanted to do cook um you know cookathon is is the regular one the normal one we have those who wanted to do um runathon we have the ones who wanted to do sleeperthon and now i just saw a guy who attempted a standathon wanted to stand for seven days but guess what? The irony of the whole situation is that he only stood for four hours and gave up. Brother, why? Why, why, why? My problem or my challenge is that Nigerians don't know what it means. Actually, start an attempt to break a record. First off, you have to do due diligence by knowing what it takes to actually break that record. What did it take the first person to break that record? From all of these attempts, I think Hilda is the only person that I'm going to give her flowers because she deserves it. Hilda Bassi took five years to actually watch, not just watch, to plan, to prepare, to do her due diligence, know exactly what Chef, um, know exactly what Chef Lotta did, know the requirements and requisites, know the modus operandi of running a cookathon. She did everything possible. She even went as far as going to, you know, prepare her physical body by going to the gym for five good years in order to stand that test and she succeeded but i feel like every other person coming out to do some sort of uh, you know hookathon runathon standathon and all the old thorns that we have they just they're just doing it for the sake of it or for the trend not because they really had a mission or not because they really had a goal or, not, or an objective i feel like their objectives are vague even they themselves do not understand why they're even attempting why they're attempting in the first place so like i said nigerians do the most in fact the world do the most what is your problem how do you attempt a standard on like what what okay i'm not saying it is weird to actually attempt a standard on but have you done your due diligence that's one thing you have to know have you you know gone on the right diet to be able to stand for seven days have you done the right things the things that are necessary what are those things so please nigerians i ask that question again what are we creating exactly because there have been lots of creativity lots of attempts lots of world record attempts but my point is this attempt you're trying to you know break or trying to create do you even know what you're doing do you know what you want to do what is the motive what is the objective because after hilda lots of mess we recorded in nigeria especially in that cook and chef and cooking in the in fact especially in the food industry it was crazy and of course i feel like this 2024 we're going to be surprised even more that like a lot of things are going to happen you're not even ready trust me you're not ready people are going to rise with so many things up their sleeves i don't know yet but i look forward to everything that 2024 has i look forward to lots of surprises guys what do you think about all the uh, world record breaking attempt in the last last year and what's your expectation for 2024 thank you guys for watching this video see you guys in my next one bye